Ah, this is going to be something else tearing this thing down. Them two pistons are really rusty. And don't look like there's hardly much room enough to work in there, but... Oh, it'll be a challenge. Ought to take a day or two, anyhow. Alright, that's enough. Yeah, this a little update on my uh, Avery V. There's the flywheel. A little light rust, nothing severe. Clutch plate. Looks good enough. Pressure plate, a little less, but nothing. That's all good. And, uh, oh, got the rod bearing took off. Crankshaft's a little dirty, but nothing, nothing excessive. And the uh, bearings, oh, they're dirty, but nothing bad. You got shims in them. Got about four shims in each one, so if I need to, I can take a shim or two out. And uh, I just noticed something here that looked kind of, I thought, well, I'll got to take the crank out to work on the pistons. And here's the pin through the pulley. Take the pin out and everything, but it looks like here's a, that, here's a seal. Looks like I don't have to take the pulley off to get the crank out. I do have to take the flywheel and the clutch housing. Got to take that off and the main bearings. And then I should be able to get the crank out. And then have a little more room to work. But it's still dirty. I don't know. I get to work. All right. Well, I'm getting down to it. Got the main bearings off. They sure are yucky looking, but... Oh, if I can get the pistons out and get them up and down, I don't know. Crankshaft looks like I'm going to have to get a big roll of emery cloth. And uh, take some shims out of the bearings. And it might be all right. We'll see. All right, I'll get that thing off, and then we'll go do something else. Yeah, I took the crank out, put the main bearings back on so I don't lose them. Crank's all there in one piece. And uh, the wrist pins are all stuck solid. All right, we'll get to it. Now, looky here. Can you believe that? I got all four of them pistons to move already. It only took about five minutes. See right there? Got that in about an eighth of an inch. That in a little less. That in about the same. Anyhow, what I did, I took this here old piece of pipe, put that in there. That's part of an old hydraulic cylinder off of the off of a old manure loader. All right, then I just took a little hammer, get a couple little taps. Don't take much. Oh, well, anyhow, I think I'll get my cylinder home, kind of clean up the sidewalls a little, and get my pocket knife out and scrape that and scrape that out and and. Uh, Turn it over and push them back a little. Turn it back over here and push them down a little. And, uh, might have them out in a day or two. Now, I don't know, I tried some of this stuff. WD-40 Spaceless Penetrant. Fast action. I don't know, maybe it's good. I don't know, alright, I'll get back to busy. Well, looky there, I got one out already. And uh, three to go. Yeah, I better get back at it.
Well, hit a tough spot. I got the pistons out of this little engine. Had a little, little difficulty. Now looky here. See, got that old dirty thing out. One, two, three, and the rusty one. I might have to get a new piston. It kind of come apart. But, we'll, we'll see whether we can find a new piston for it. If not, we'll put back together like that old F-14 that's got the bottom half the piston gone. It'll run. Might not be the best. But, uh, might help. I guess some brand new Hondas and stuff, they only got pistons down to about here. So, who knows? We'll see what we come to this later. Alright, that's enough for today. Well, uh, good morning. I got them pistons cleaned up a little. Looks like I gotta buy a new piston. And I think I can get by with just two sets of rings. But I don't know, we'll see what they cost. I might just get all new rings. These two center ones, the rings are loose, but the oil rings are a little snug, but they'd loosen up in time, I guess, but those are solid. You know, Definitely break in getting them loose. All right, that's where we're at now How do you get the camshaft and the valve lifters loosened up? Yeah, we'll figure it out Doggy checking things out Kitty's helping There you go Well I got these valve lifters unstuck. Where are we at? There we are. This one's still. Uh, look, it's better. This one's unstuck. <clears throat> still got them three to work on. And right or wrong. Took a while, but I got these all, all loose. A couple of them a little stiff. Mm. That real stiff. That, that. Hey, how I got them? So they turn back and forth. Hadn't got them to go up and down yet. That'll be another day's work. But before I do that, I'll have to take the valves out. That'll be a job. Uh, oh well, I'll get them. And then, and then, uh, gotta take the front cover off and uh, get the camshaft unstuck. Get it cleaned up. And then, Clean it up, then we start putting it back together. I called today and that new piston is going to cost me $40. So, of course, then a head gasket or a head gasket set. See, I'm going to have to do $1,000 in this thing when I get it done. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. I got the front cover off. Kind of yucky. Wasn't hard to get off. Took the bolts out, just tapped it, and fell off. Look at the oil pipe right, right there. We ought to definitely get enough oil on the timing gears. 
Now, oh, ain't nothing rusted away. Don't turn. Well, I gotta get the valves out and the tappets down, the cam loosened, pull it out, take the tappets out, clean everything. And I probably should take this thing uptown someplace where they got one of them ultrasonic cleaning tanks and really soak it. All right, I better get back to work on something else. Well, I was working on this thing a little bit. And I got the camshaft loosened a little bit. I tapped it on the end with a hammer here, on the other end there, and it moves back and forth just a little. So it's not permanently stuck, so that means we'll get it out. But here's two pieces that's going to be a pain to get going. That rusted up governor. And this oil pump has been underwater for years. And uh, I guess they don't have any new oil pumps. So I got to save that one. And the governor. Yeah, probably something similar somewhere, but I'll have to clean it. it it'll, it'll clean up. So, probably about the worst thing I'm going to break up, root. Might break a couple valves, but I can get new valves, I guess. So, uh, oh, maybe tomorrow. I had enough for today. Well, good morning again. I'm still working on this little old engine. Uh, I had an idea last night how to get them valves unstuck or at least ways get them limbered up a little bit so I tried it and it works but yeah I was out here this morning I got thinking look at that little thing there I can warm my fingers now it's sitting over there I got a, about a half a dozen of them at different sales last year and that one worked all right, I'll show you what idea I had that works. Get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. These uh, valve adjusters, if I unscrew them, anyhow, that puts a lot of force on them valves moves them a little and after you get them moved a little put some squirtum on them and then back them up This is darn awful tight, tight to get to it. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'll put the adjuster back down there where it was. Come on. So well, anyhow, I got back down there a little bit, and then see the valve's open a little bit. So then I Take a couple of hammers, put one right here in the middle, and tap it back down. 
I'm going to put, put some squirtum on this other end. And then, yeah, do it again. Works a lot easier this time. So if I keep doing that all day long, I'll have these all loosened up. And then I can take them out. And then I can take the cam followers, tappets, whatever you want to call them. I'll take them out. And then I can get the crank camshaft out and get it cleaned up. And then we'll be all ready to do the final cleaning. All right. I better get to it. Well, look at here. Screwed that end out about a half dozen times and pushed it out and tapped it back and all right that's what we're doing yeah I got them all loosened up a little now it's uh, time to try to turn this camshaft somehow and I thought well my uh, chain vice grips would be nice to go around there but I can't find them and I got a strap type oil filter wrench someplace but can't find it either so I found something that might work my little pipe wrench so anyhow let's see what we got here Hey, how I got turned a little bit. Oh, it's hard to do this this way. Let's see what we got here. It moves. All right. We'll keep at it till it goes all the way round and round. And it comes loose. Uh, here's a better demonstration. Look at there. I can move the cam by hand. Not very far, but keep at it. It'll come round and round. Kitty coming to help. Well, the afternoon or evening. It's kind of dark out. Uh... Look what I got done today. I got all the valves out. Got the camshaft out. And uh, didn't break anything. But I went and lost one of these little things. Lost one of them little pins. But I found it. So, uh, now I got one of the, one of these things out. Now I'd take the rest of them out, but I'm getting tired. And you gotta unscrew the bolt to get them to go through to come out. But uh, I guess that's enough for today. And uh, oh, ah, uh, this. I'm just going to quit for the rest of the year. I've done enough of this old jump tractor stuff fooling around this year, so I'm just going to knock off the rest of the year. Uh, I'll see you next year. All right. Good night.